letting go of expectations is probably the best thing you can do for your life and I'm living proof of that. I think that's one of the main parts of self-development and, and, and really progressing in life when you start focusing more on the input and the, the possibilities that you have instead of complaining and, and wondering about why did this happen and, and why can't I do this now? And uh, today has been a great example of that for me because some of you probably know that they are building everywhere in Bali. And uh, on the both sides of our place where we stay, they have construction sites. And the first one started before 7 a.m. today, and the second one started when the first one stopped. And it's 6 p.m. now, and I've just been waiting to be able to shoot in a situation where there's no like super loud noises and what it actually means to letting go of expectations is essentially letting go of control and that's another thing that's been affecting my life a lot and my relationships a lot is the the need for I would say trying to control because I know that I can't actually control anything but the the idea that you have to kind of push yourself in order to try to control stuff and and what it what it ends up doing is basically just increasing stress and increasing like negative emotions and 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 these negative cycles and and like i i think in most cases it's it's also like generational it's it's like my mom has this thing because her dad has this thing and and, and so on and it's once again it comes down to self-awareness to be able to kind of get rid of those and and this has actually been one of the biggest changes in in my life also in terms of business in terms of of my relationships and and like general life satisfaction and the the whole idea is that you have a certain expectations but in reality, life throws you all kinds of curveballs and, and, and all kinds of obstacles. And the strong human is the one who is capable of, of navigating those difficult situations, even if things don't go to plan. And, and actually, when things don't go to plan, there's always a lesson, an opportunity to, to learn and to grow. And, and that's, that's amazing because once you switch your, your mind, and I've been talking about this mindset shift because that's one of the biggest part of, of like self-awareness is, is to become aware of your limiting beliefs and, and, and start to see where you can improve and where there's more opportunity and uh, once you let go of the the expectations on the outcome that's when things start to change because i'm gonna take this day as an example the video i would have created in the morning wouldn't have these examples and it wouldn't be as strong as it is right now and that's just like the core of life we can never know what happens for sure and that's like the fact everything changes and once we 
think of ourselves like water water is fluid water never kind of gets trapped water even change like shape and 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 it can freeze it can become gas and 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 all kinds of stuff and once we start adapting like water there's gonna be so many more opportunities like imagine if if you wake up and and you thought that you need to do a certain thing but then there's another thing that comes and and it just blocks it out that it's not possible you can go into the the victim mode and you can start complaining and be like oh but yeah i i don't know it feels so bad it's so unfair like this always happens to me and it's uh, i fucking hate my life uh, yeah bullshit whatever because once you switch that and and you take full responsibility of your life whatever happens it like shit happens to every one of us and and if you think that you, you should have like a a princess life it's time to wake up because nobody has that everybody struggles that's that's being human means so once you start seeing all the obstacles as opportunities to learn and to grow everything changes and and even in my business once i realized this i started seeing clients coming in i started seeing results and everything just somehow works out because you're not focused on what didn't work and why didn't this work you're like okay this didn't work so what okay what tools do i have what opportunities do i have to make it work somehow like even close and that's always gonna be a better choice than to kind of stay in the in the victimhood and and be like yeah i'm just gonna go in and buy some candy and and binge watch netflix because i didn't get what i wanted like i used to be that guy and <laughs> When I think about it now, it's just like, how did I even think that I would ever get something that I would be successful if like the, the smallest obstacles throws me off track? So this video is just proof of whatever you set your mind to, like do it by any means. And even if I'm, I've waited like the whole day to create this video because I promised myself that I'm going to do every, like YouTube videos every day for at least 30 days. And that's what I'm going to do. And I suggest you also start a project that you set a goal and, and, and you do everything you can to achieve that no matter the result. Like even if, if like everything would have been ruined the whole day, I would still have it done. Like even a video with bad sound, even a video with like the shittiest camera, like just so I get some kind of message out there and that means I improve. I get another experience of doing something, of overcoming an obstacle that was set in my, my way of intentions, okay? So that's gonna be it for today and like the only thing i want to do with this video is is really to to push you to do something and and to motivate you to to try if it doesn't even if it doesn't feel that you're ready even if it doesn't feel that you're good enough do it you're gonna become good enough once you start doing those things okay so do something set up a challenge whatever stay consistent uh there was a guy who told me like the it needs to be imperfect consistent action something like this and and that's that's the only way to success and you've probably seen a lot of people they start youtube for like five years ago and now they have all these fancy things and they have uh, like a lot of money and they have like this career that they love that's like everybody did it the same way like imperfect consistent action so that's what i had for today and uh, yeah go do something stay cool
Peace out. See you in the next one.